I know that like all these videos for the Barbarian Spider Faction team thingy uh, have been out already, um, but I, I kind of wanted to just do more just for the sheer challenge of it. And I did come across, I think it was on Reddit. I saw somebody using a, a three-man team. It was a three-man team. It was this, right? And so I put this team together uh, based off of that. And this works, obviously. Uh, I did not try this on stage five, but I did this. Tr I did try this on stage uh, one. And obviously anything below that is going to work just fine. So I'm not going to bother with, um, actually, let me show you something real quick. Uh, if you're wondering, I think a lot of people are saying that the, the best points per energy stage is going to be 10. And obviously like if you're one of the few people that actually have Thor, he's going to do wonders for you. In fact, he can solo stage 10 by himself of normal. And this is perfectly fine if all you care about is doing the um what do you call it the uh the tournament the barbarians only tournament the other thing about i haven't talked about this in a while but the other thing about stage 10 for spider normal is that it's it's bugged and i have a video on it somewhere but basically the drop rates for five star gear are a lot higher than it should be and they're not fixing it because it just they're not they're not, they're not gonna fix it it's been forever this bug quote unquote has been known about I think it's like an 80, 86% drop rate for five-star gear. And it shouldn't be because if you look at the drop rates for everything, it goes from like one to nine and it goes one to nine. Uh, where's the team? Uh, this is the first one that I showed in my last video. It's pretty nice. And this is the one that I wanted to show you guys today. Let's start off by doing this team because I have presets already for Loki and then I want to show you what it looks like when it's just Thor and Syl together. But if you look at the drop rates <clears throat> from 1 to like 10 for, for, sorry, 1 to 9, it's like really low, right? And then it jumps like 60% all the way to like 80 something percent for... Uh, for stage 10 normal and then it drops back down from stage 11 all the way to like 25 uh, and I don't think it ever goes higher than 86 or something like that I think I, you'd have to like check again because it's been a while since I've seen the chart myself but yeah ideally as always as I've always said it's better to do any hard stage versus doing any normal stage right so hard one is always going to be better than, in my opinion, I could be wrong. Like I always say, take what I say for a grain of salt. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm probably the, the last content creator you want to come to when it comes for advice. And yeah, so, you know, just take that. Take take anything I say with a grain of salt is, is just the main gist of it. But yeah, this is the team. It could be optimized better. I could make Thor faster, but like this is just doing fine in and of itself on its own and i just realized i took gear off of loki because i rebuilt venus and cupidus and the reason i rebuilt them was because i'm doing a video on both of them soon so yeah loki was actually in cursed gear and this was going a lot faster before but i mean this gets it done one minute 32 seconds it's it's fine just to get it done we're gonna sell that i'm also going to show you what it's like without loki just because I like to see how it's another challenge in and of itself to see how far I can go without having um, so many champions, right? If you can solo with one champion, awesome. If you know if, if you can't do that and you got a duo, that's fine. But if you got to use a full team, that's totally fine too, you know? No judgment. Who cares how it gets done as long as it's getting done, right? So, yeah. Also... The other thing, Thor still has not been fully optimized and maxed out yet. Still no... Ma Actually, that's not true. He's got masteries. I've, I've put masteries on him, but he's not booked. Right? He's not booked, and he doesn't have his five-star blessing yet, which I will put on him uh, once I do get the five-star blessing. And his build is just not fully optimized yet. Like, he's in Slayer gear, but he's in just whatever Slayer gear I... I had laying around and I just threw it on him. I didn't even throw it on the optimizer. I didn't really check his stats or anything. I just threw it on him and called it a day. But CVC is about to start in about three hours, right? So this is my point. 
this is my other point. Sometimes it's a lot faster with just two people, right? Because if Loki was there, he's taking some more turns, he's taking up extra time, and his animations aren't exactly the fastest, especially with his um, A2, A3. So in those presets, when I had Loki in here, I turned off his A2 and his A3. Personally, uh, you can do it differently. But yeah, as you can see, we're like, what, 30 seconds faster without him? So I don't know if people still talk about this, but I remember I was watching one of Chosen's videos uh, a long time ago. Let's try stage five here with just the two of them, and, and we'll, we'll see. And um, he was doing his dragon, uh, dragon, uh, what do you call it, run. And he was like, yeah, uh, you don't have to have a full team of champions on a, in a dungeon run. You, you can have like four champions and that's going to sometimes be faster because that's one less champion taking a turn. So I took that concept, I applied it here and I was like, okay, well, let's see how many we can, we can do without um, having too many peoples or uh, champions peoples champions and still getting the job done barbarians only right so the idea here is basically that thor is going to do as much damage as he can and then his passive procs as well and every time one of the little spiders dies thor comes around or every time the spider dies spiderlings die the uh the main spider takes damage and thor is um theoretically and ideally doing a lot more damage again he's not optimized scale this to your own account you know just take the concept and run with it and um sill is going to be here for the heals basically so every time sill takes a turn i put her in relentless um she's going to pass out heals again this is stage five uh it, it's obviously not not panning out the way i want to on stage five so we're going to go back down to stage one and it looks it looks like that's where it's going to be it looks like we're just doing stage stage one for this uh, tournament here. And I'm totally fine with that. Like stage one, I'm still getting the mythicals. Um, but if you guys have better comps, at, uh, as always, I highly encourage that you share that because a lot of you guys go through other people's comments in my videos and you guys often have conversations amongst yourselves. And I, I like that. Like, that's the point of, of what I do here. Of course, I'm not like the the guide to go to when it comes to dungeon guides or champion guides i have fun with it i do it if i i, I want to and normally you can tell the difference between me doing a champion or a dungeon guide uh and me really enjoying it versus me just kind of doing it just to do it uh you know we, we've all done that kind of thing oh I'll just do it just to do it but no like i'm, I'm legitimately doing this because i think it's interesting i i, <clears throat> I don't know I, I'm, I'm having some fun doing this and i think it's basically because thor is just a fucking awesome champion like he's He's so much fun. He's like better than your just average, better than your average nuker attack champion. Like he, he's just magnificent as fuck, right? Obviously no speed runs. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna come out with it, but I mean, Thor is just amazing. This is not a recommended build whatsoever, right? I'm, I'm telling you guys do not copy this build because it's a shit build. I literally took whatever Slayer gear that I had and I threw it on him. Like, this is what's left over. I'm about to go into the forge when CVC starts and forge a lot of Slayer gear. But the concept behind uh, the priority stats for Thor is going to be attack, speed. He's only going at 152. You guys saw he was wearing attack percent boots. Yeah, he's got the ascension for speed, but you know what I mean? He's not 100% crit rate. He's got the crit damage. He does need more accuracy because nature's wrath. Um, yeah, so don't copy this build, but I mean, it's there for reference. Uh, and again, not optimized. Do not copy this build. Uh, feel free to copy these masteries though, taking Helm Smasher and look at this, not, not booked. She, she's okay, right? She's in Relentless. I focused on HP, uh, decent amount of speed for somebody who's early to mid game this and again the reason i made her slower is because i'm trying to be more relatable cater to i, I, I don't know i'm trying to be re relatable here when i'm relatable people complain that I, I can do better with my account and then when i do better with my account you guys tell me that i'm not being relatable so i'm just kind of like all right and i know some of you guys are like oh you just you know do whatever you want to do i'll always do what i want but i'm explaining why i'm doing the things that i do